Hater, you didn't even wait for it. Sounded like I had a little miss there. Yeah, but. it's got a little miss. Let's put it back together. She's home. The rear tire started to leak, but other than that, the trip went pretty smooth. Yeah, it's not quite as loose as the 88 and it's shifting. Well, it's still in the turn back in the middle. Yeah. Back at the spreader. Wait, that's not the 88. That's a 77. Well, that's the secret, I guess. It's not much of a secret. I guess no <laughs> I don't know how many people watched it, but yeah. Got a 77 from a close, or from a friend, family friend. They, I guess the two sons, their dad recently passed away and trying to sell some of his stuff. I mean, they weren't in a hurry, but dad had first dibs at it and he decided to buy it and they let it go and i think they were happy to see it go to him so here it is uh, the front tires are actually in pretty good shape minus one has a big crack in it probably need air but the back tires are shot they got a lot of life left but they don't tread life but they they don't have the bottoms are shot or where they were sitting are shot sadly immediately once I drove it down the road once we got it running it blew the seat cushions out not surprised but a little bummed so I had that wood piece in there shoved under there to hold it up but yeah that was in the parts bin factory all over step at least aftermarket period correct one of the two so we stuck that on there and uh, I guess we didn't have spark when we tried to start it and we didn't get a video of it starting because you know we weren't expecting dad wasn't expecting it to start and so we replaced the coil hopefully it's the right one because I was on the Oliver white tractor group and it so there's a bunch of, there's a few different coils you can get so hopefully it's the right one it's six volt for six volt so but it's got some ice damage you see I electrical taped that wire place the coil uh, the guy who had it there died he was very meticulous the oil is pretty much brand new in this thing antifreeze looks brand new spark plugs have been changed recently so, yeah, once we got spark, gas was drained out of it. Completely gone. Got spark, and basically it, took off. Yeah, it basically took off. But it locked up on us, which we assume there must be a rough spot in one of the cylinders because we cannot. We thought the battery was dead, but it wasn't. And the starter would just click, so we took the battery off and charged it. These are negative or positive ground, so we charged it. Didn't do anything, 
about ready to give up and then dad decided he was going to rock it in sixth gear and it got it unstuck and it just they hit the starter to see if it would have spark and it just popped off and ran and i got video of it. we didn't get video of it starting sadly but it sat there and idled just purred like a kitten it builds great oil pressure although it's got blow by it which i don't think the gauge is wrong but she goes all the way up to the end of the gauge it shows that it's charging and the water temp has not got off in that pretty much has not got off of that spot there so i don't know about that but, but one thing we didn't realize is how much smaller it is compared to the 88 yeah the 70s picture of the gauges so just look memorize the gauges the gauge cluster the panel remember what that looks like Show, show, the too. show what? The front end. See how this one's just like slight slope? It kind of has like a little little bump. And look at the 88. Yeah, she's stretched out. Oh, don't trip over the blade. This has a different seat on it. Then there's the 88 gauges sorry there's a yeah it's considerably wider I guess 88 has hydroelectric on it I don't know if you guys ever knew that but we thought it had an Oliver step on it but that's a homemade step and it's it's nice yeah, and it could be an Oliver well it's possible then that little thing so when we were crawling around on this thing on the 77 you know we were tripped a few times because you know you get used to not have this thing didn't have any step on it it just was your draw bar and your axle and we dug this out of the tree as well it wasn't buried we knew where it was but once we found out we were getting it that thing had its name on it so nothing changed with the spreader just thought it'd be cool to show them hooked together the funny thing is, is we do have a manure bucket a couple of them for that thing so yeah there it is I got videos of it driving and stuff so I'll put those in but we well I want to unhook the spreader on it because I don't I see. so I will be driving it around some more, so I'll get more videos, but I want to unhook the spreader. We just want to do that for pictures. <laughs> we just need a 66 now. Of the three beauties. Mm hmm Oh, the paint. The paint is like, oh, uh, it's not immaculate, but it's in really good shape. I mean, this is... looks like it's been repainted there. I don't know why. but Like this? This is just surface rust. Yeah. The whole hood is that, and that's what it's rubbed off by. We have not even given this thing a bath yet, so. This is basically how we pulled it out. Yeah, pretty much. My fact it's got air in the tires, but. These tires are like brand new, except one of them's got a big crack in it. <laughs> and we did that with the chain binder, but. Yeah. But we'll run it. So at any rate, there's the new tractor. It runs pretty good. It's gonna need a tune up, but we just got it home last night and we're messing with it today, so we'll get her going good. But yes, the size difference on, difference on the tires are 12.438s on the 77, and these are 14.938s, so. 88's a lot bigger tractor, and I, I guess I never necessarily really realized that, but... <laughs> oh, and this one's set out really wide. I guess 88's not as wide, but... No, she's sucked in all the way, so... At any rate, guys... There it is. We got bugs on it, because we had to pull it home. The trailer, but... There it is. Comment, rate, subscribe. Yeah, these
back tires are shot, so that's why she's so bumpy. Plus, I have no spring in my seat. John should be coming, but I don't know where he is. I still don't think I full throttle. I've been trying to work it, but I still don't think I full throttle. But I am used to the 88 that's screaming at that speed, so I don't know. It's got a straight pipe and it's about two foot long. Where this has this has an actual muffler. Brakes work really good. Oh, I always park on the bad spots. Can't show you them, but... That's what the bad spots look like, except... on the tires. Yeah, you can see that right there. Yeah. That. I don't know how much light they have left, but they'll get us through some. Yeah, our attempt at trying to save these bushings, but I really don't want to get too far away being that the temp gauge hasn't moved, but it's full antifreeze, so this will go. I'm not gonna record because it's really hard to record, but I just wanted to make this little clip. Our seat cushion shelled out in about the first five seconds, so this is the replacement because the repop suck. Works pretty good. Corn picker step. We got our lift. That's stuff we use to put the old bell pulley on. There it is. Our seat's been repainted John Deere green. We just discovered that. And a couple of those bolts are too. But. A lot of the paint cleaned up with some, with an SOS pad. We're gonna try it on the hood too. 
That's what the SOS pad did on the hood, so we're going to try it on here. But that, it's Oliver Green, that's original Oliver Payne on the belt pulley. Not the bolts, but... Yeah, I did. You can turn it on, though. It don't matter. It's a 51. I ran the serial numbers, it's a 51. So is our 88, but. There it is. Oh, I just stepped on that. But. 